We have uh, Steve Dyer here from Schlumberger here to tell us about uh, Manara. Um, now, Steve, why is it important uh, Schlumberger is at Adepec? Okay, well, thank you um, and good morning. Um, yes, so it's very important for us to be here and we're very proud to be here at Adepec today. Um, it's really in the backyard of the major operating producers uh, throughout the uh, industry. Um, so we're very we're showcasing a technology, Manara, Production and Reservoir Management System, as you can see here, which is really about changing the way we manage our assets in the field. So that is bringing compartmentalization to the reservoir, but also bringing the control and monitoring aspects of that, which it, A, enables better deliverability, and B, better recovery. So it really leads into the sustainability and innovation aspect of the Adepec as we see it today. Um, in that sustainability, making sure the recovery is that we're extracting the maximum amount of barrels from the reserves and the assets that we have. But secondly, also ensuring that we bring innovative technologies to reach the challenges that we're being addressed today in the, uh, in the industry. Thanks, Steve. Um, you recently commercialised the Manara Production and Reservoir Management System. Tell me a bit more about this technology. Okay, well, uh, the Manara uh, system, it uh, basically is about compartmentalizing, as I see. And on, on the screen here, you can see how a typical field aspect would look. And the idea is we are making these compartments, these producing compartments across the reservoir. What that does is adds resolution. It really tightens in the resolution of control and operability of the reservoir itself. It brings that reservoir engineer down into the reservoir and gives that semblance of control, really can feel the heartbeat of the reservoir. Now the Manara system itself is really four key areas. The first area is that uh, it's the Manara station itself, and this is, uh, this is an example here, which is placed in the compartments. It's fully electrical uh, flow control valve with a full onboard monitoring system allowing flow rate, production measurements, uh, water cut and pressures everything the reservoir engineers in order to be able to control and understand what's happening that there. There's also an electrical flow control valve which provides the level of controllability so I can adjust my production as I see fit in order to be uh, deliverability efficient. The second component is the inductive coupler here which is actually basically it's a downhole electrical connection. What that does is it allows us to, live, to deliver these compartments, these stations, to the extremities of the wells. So some of these wells were going in excess of 10 kilometers these days where it's very difficult otherwise to bring this technology to bear uh, to the extremities of the reservoir. So the inductive coupler allows us to decouple the lower completion and the upper completion. It also allows later on in life during workover for instance if you have an ESP change out for instance to remove the upper completion with a light workover and replace it very simply so it brings simplicity to it. Now adding to the simplicity aspect is all of this is delivered on one single electrical control line. What does that mean? So anybody who's in the intelligent completion business, in order to bring uh, intelligent completions and bring that control capability down hole, you're typically adding additional control lines, which brings complexity to the installation. So we're really removing that complexity by really running it on one single control line. The final, and I think the most important, is actually the use of this technology. This is about bringing the reservoir engineer or the production engineer into the reservoir with that controllability and that monitoring. So we have uh, developed a Well Watcher Advisor software. It's running from the Avaset platform, which allows the reservoir engineer to really see how that reservoir is, de is uh, developing dynamically over time and respond efficiently to it. Basically making workflows that would take otherwise months or even, I've seen years in my history, in basically overnight. We have examples of this happening overnight. So really making it efficient in terms of uh, delivering the wells. Okay, and what industry issues or challenges is this new system addressing? So as we all hear, um, uh, the industry goes through uh, cycles, so we're faced with a number of challenges uh, today, which are, you know, we go through uh, from time to time. The first is, of course, making sure the use and effective use of working capital. So this is about, this system is about improving the deliverability over the long term of each and every well that is deployed. Now, if you are able to manage these uh, wells properly, then a field development like this, for instance, in this sector of the field, can be done very efficiently with less wells. So the working capital of you know, platforms offshore or additional slots or even just environmentally aspects with, uh, with land-based uh, drilling is, is assured with this type of technology. The second is, is really about the energy for generations, right? So the energy for generations means that we have to, we are required to improve the efficiency of the recovery that we get from the assets. So that means extracting more barrels. The ability to control the sweep by having the reservoir en engineers interacting directly with the reservoir itself 
really helps that process by improving that sweep efficiency. And why was the name Manara selected? Okay, so Manara is an Arabic word um, and it uh, means lighthouse, or one of the meanings is, is lighthouse. So really this is a guiding path. You know, up until recently, without this innovation and, and technological development, we can only dream about this level of control, right? So really the Manara analogy is really the lighthouse which allows us to, it illuminates how we drain these reservoirs, improving the recovery from those reservoirs, improving the sweep control. But also, it's another analogy for actually getting these control points down to parts of the reservoir where we haven't been able to reach, quite frankly, up to, up to recently. So it really is a, a, a dual meaning, really. It's about illuminating both the delivery of the system into parts of the reservoir that we couldn't do before, but also ensuring the sweep recovery of the, of the asset itself. Um, and could you please explain the collaboration with Saudi Aramco? Yes, yeah, so this is really uh, an interesting, uh, interesting project. It was really inspired in the region, in, in the Middle East region, for Middle Eastern assets where we have heterogeneous carbonates. And Saudi Aramco came to the industry in 2006 with a, with a vision, a strong vision, which said, look, we need to ensure our generation, uh, sorry, energy for generations to come and improve the recovery from 50 to 70 percent. So this was placed as an industry uh, uh, request and uh, Schlumberger was one of the uh, technology providers known for its ability to bring in innovative technology not just to the proof of concept in the bench but also actually implement into the field and we partnered with Saudi Aramco since 2007. So Saudi Aramco's expertise is, is very broad, we have a lot of knowledge about the reservoirs, how to deal with them, what their challenges are, what are they trying to address, drilling, completion but also the ability to get the data back into the hands of the reservoir is also the knowledge set of, of the large operating companies like Saudi Aramco. What Schlumberger brings to the table is very definitely historically technological in innovation and this is a very strong technological in innovation in fact it's a big leap in the industry so we bring to bear those teams together formed one team everything from research scientists working on actual flow loop measurements all the way to the operational engineers in both Schlumberger and Saudi Aramco across drilling, across uh, completions, across uh, reservoir, all to bring this groundbreaking technology to bear. And we're very happy to be here today actually showcasing this technology because we are there, we've deployed it and we have really seen the impact of this almost 150 man years of effort over the last few years really getting to this point. So where has this new system been deployed? So we have deployed this commercially in 2015 in three wells, okay, um, and the first well was actually a regular horizontal completion. So just like you see here with a, two stations placed in a horizontal well compartmentalizing that well and providing the uh, production and monitoring capabilities to manage that effectively. The second well we, uh, we delivered was actually very much like this well you can see here, which is an extreme reservoir contact well. What that means is it's a multilateral well, in this case it had three laterals, with two compartments in each of the laterals. This allowed us to basically have six producing compartments in one well. That's not exactly six wells, but it's equivalent to the resolution of handling six wells in one well. And the reservoir engineer is now looking at the efficiency of the cleanup and really you know, maximizing the deliverability there. The third well is really an example where we have extended the reach of deploying this technology. So in this third well, in the, also in the region, um, we have managed to deploy this um, to add a basically one third additional of their well to add the monitoring and control capabilities where they were not able to get that before. So they're actually managing the extremities of these ERD wells very efficiently with this technology. I'd like to add one thing, sorry, uh, I'd like to add one thing also. You know, we've deployed this technology, but we're also talking with customers on operating um, assets on not just ERD wells where we have to, ex uh, uh, have to deploy these to the extremities beyond 10 kilometers, but also in the enhanced oil recovery frame. So that is actually a theme of the, of the Adapec show, but also of the, of the Schlumberger stand here in that we really need to ensure the sweep recovery within enhanced oil recovery projects. And this will be one of those tools that will factor in that, uh, in that frame. What does it mean to be here now that this technology is commercial? Well, thank you for the question. So, so what it really means to us as, as the teams involved is it really is, a, you know, we're very grateful to be here and proud to be here, but it means more than that, right? There's 150 man years of effort in this project, but it really is a new way of doing things. We're actually delivering controllability to places in the reservoir which we haven't been able to get before. So some of the most uh, fascinating things that happen is sitting down with the new engineers that have come out of the colleges today and universities today are working through their professional development schemes. So I will, 
I will relate to one. So we have a reservoir and production engineer with five years experience down in the field operating using this Well Watcher Advisor software, operating a well here during the cleanup. And they are making adjustments and understanding how the reservoir responds in an overnight shift, six hours, to actually optimize a well to make its production the optimum that it can in six hours, which would have taken them one year before. So they are really realizing the opportunity of what is possible by looking and looking at the data that's coming from those compartments, controlling it, evaluating it, and they're learning as well. So it's really about the new generation way of doing things. So, you know, we're extremely proud to be here. Um, Saudi Aramco and Schlumberger together have been working on this project for a number of years. We are both very happy to be, uh, to be here today and couldn't be happier with the results so far. Thank you.